What's up, Capricorn? This is Soul. And Capricorn, this is your week ahead. Energy is beginning January 27th and ending uh, February 2nd, 2020. The messages will be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Capricorn Rising Signs. All right. Uh, Capricorn, I hope all is well. Let's get right into your energies uh, to see what's coming up for you before I begin. Uh, happy Groundhog's Day to all the Capricorns out there. And uh, happy Super Bowl Sunday if you are a, f a football fan or a fanatic like I am. So I'm using the Venetian Tarot to deliver your energies this upcoming week. There are some reversals here, Capricorn. So just to give you a heads up, without further ado, let's get into your energies to see what is potentially coming up for you guys this upcoming week. Okay, energies for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for the week of January 27th and ending February 2nd, 2020. That's just for Capricorn. All right, shadow card energy, um, Capricorn, the energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards, you have the Queen of Cups. So this is actually a pretty good card. So some of you could be experiencing uh, something that takes place uh, may be involving the exchange uh, that you have with other people uh, when it comes to relationships, because this is a relationship card. This is the queen of all. Well, it's the queen of cups, but she's the mother of all love. She's uh, nurturing, supportive. She's caring. She's uh, intuitive. She's here to help you guide, you know, well, help guide you in terms of your own intuition. Always go with your gut. Capricorn, as I always say, is the correct answer. Uh, it's an older feel, so it could be that some of you are having great exchanges with your elders, you know, your parents, your grandparents, or it could be uh, some Capricorn stepping into new relationships romantically, and also it could be platonic, since this is an open general reading. So the Queen of Cups represents, uh, and also could be male energies as well, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. Uh, so that is your shadow energy and emotional happiness, satisfaction and contentment in some endeavor. But it's an exchange or uh, you have those exchanges with other people. OK, there's some support coming your way. Uh, emotional support. Your focus, however, is the well, it's your energies. This is the ace of pentacles. So, of course, this is the start of a new job, the start of something new in general. Uh, could be start of uh, business investments or uh, could be the on well, the page is usually the page of pentacles is usually the birth of a, a business ideal. But it could be a birth of an ideal when it comes to business. Uh, like I said before, the aces always represent that start of something new. So money coming in, it could, you know, definitely reference a new job, a pay raise. Um, anything that fosters a sense of security and stability uh, and long term energies for you. So this comes through. It represents you and the other Earth energies, uh, Capricorn. I'm sorry, it represents Taurus and Virgo. I'm reading for Capricorn. Oftentimes, got to stop myself because, you know, I made a mistake in the Pisces video when I <laughs> talked about Taurus. It was only for the first two cards, but someone chimed in and said that I I seem to do it quite regularly. I'm like, Ugh, really? Anyway, so this is your energy. This is your focus. So it's a good uh, focus card. Uh, for you this upcoming week, something starting, something that you're about to begin, uh, and it relates to uh, money. Could be more money coming in. Hmm. What crosses that Ace of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn? We have the ooh. So there it is. This is uh, <laughs> this is my fate and destiny card. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is also good luck and good fortune. Also, the uh, Wheel of Fortune always relates to uh, windfall. So, and it's crossing the money card. So if you are one of those Capricorns who are you know like you play the lottery or you're gamblers, you know, take a chance, but gamble. And play responsibly, okay? Uh, being at the right place at the right time always comes through with the fate and destiny card of the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, so, yeah, good luck and good fortune is on Capricorn side this upcoming week. Money coming in. Uh, the money coming in because of the Wheel of Fortune crossing in your immediate could be uh, expected or unexpected sources. So, again, like I said, the lottery, 
Uh, and usually these are large wins. You know, someone uh, gets lucky and, and, and hits it big. But, you know, as your intuitive advisor, I would always say just play responsibly, please. Okay, Major Arcana uh, showing up here with a fortune. And also, too, it could be a fortunate turn of events uh, for something that may not have been going um, in your favor. That also comes through. Following that, now we have the Major Arcana, the Death card. Look at the Death card in this uh, deck. Wow. So the Death card never ever for me, you know, denotes physical death, first and foremost. There is a uh, need whenever the Death card uh, shows up. It's about having to release and let go. OK, so Capricorn, only, you know what you have to release and let go. That's no longer serving you for your highest good. It doesn't have to necessarily be a relationship. But if it is, apply it to your situation. It could be just getting rid of old clothes that you no longer can wear. The new year is coming in and maybe you lost weight or gained weight and you can't fit them. But, you know, are being generous because that Ace of Pentacles is about being generous and giving uh, as well as receiving that you, you know, donate some clothes. It could be that you donate money, donate some time uh, to people who are less fortunate than you. That's part of the death's energy and releasing and letting go. Um, <clears throat> if you are able to do that, then, you know, the death card always promises something new that's going to come in that it that will resonate for you for your highest good. Death card represents Scorpio and uh, the other water sign energies, Cancer and Pisces, male or female. OK, two major arcanas, the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. What's following the death card, Capricorn? We have the four swords okay so this is actually a pretty good card but like i have mentioned before when it showed up in another sign uh that i had already posted i said that uh, i oftentimes i don't look at a lot of readers here one or two of them that i follow and then you know they speak about the four swords like being like the the worst card <laughs> okay this for me however is rest relaxation rejuvenation uh possibly having to temporarily disconnect your energies from um you know your work your family your um could be your romantic partnerships your friendships and do something solely uh for you to uh rebuild your energy okay do something that you've done in the past but it was you know by yourself things that make you happy because i always talk about this four swords i get more in depth with it when it shows up for the general love readings when people um you know we all want to be uh in those relationships and connect with those significant others and whatnot of course it's always nice to be in a relationships loving someone and someone loving you back but the most important thing is the, you know, of this four of swords is that it, it always gives me the feel of having to return to um, your independence. OK, be in absence of having to be in the company or be in a relationship with people um, that give you that sense of security and, and whatnot. But if something happens, then, you know, all hell breaks loose. You fall apart at the seams. And I'm not saying that, you know, this happens for everyone. But I say that to say that you can't make anyone responsible for your own happiness. But if you're able to do that on your own, it's still going to impact you or affect you. But it's not going to be so great if something happens, you know, uh, once you connect in a relationship, romantic, uh, but also too, it could be extended to friendship. Uh, that is not going to be uh, so devastating for you. This also could apply to family. Doing something on your own that makes you happy outside of the uh, company of other people. OK, rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, downtime, me time, do something for, you know, solely or uh, explicitly for me. Four of Swords represents the uh, air sign energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Up next here, Capricorn, we now have. OK, now we have the Eight of Swords so that if you don't take that time out, based on the four of swords energies, because if this more or less preceded the uh, four of swords, then I would have had a different message. But see, if you're not taking that time out, then the energies of the anxiety and possible stress is starting to build up or increase. That's the eight of swords. So make sure that you are identifying through the death card uh, what you need to release and let go, whether it is um, something that could be 
um, you know, affiliated with stressing you out, if it's a relationship or whatever it is. There's a, a need to worry. There's a need to uh, be concerned. There's some sort of fidgety, some sort of nervousness, and it may not be anything. OK, you might be fearful of the unknown, but the anxiety is starting to build up. OK, what are you fearing? And because it's underneath the Ace of Pentacles, which is the start of something new, then the Ace of Pentacles will represent the future. So there might be something uh, someone is fearing or uh, worried about or concerned about when it comes to their own finances or their job in itself or something else tied into financial. Uh, but it may not be anything wrong at all. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, represents that Eight of Swords. Following the Eight of Swords here, um, Capricorn, we have... The th now, this is your energies, the three of pentacles, and it was the opening energies for one of the signs that I just did. So usually with the four of pentacles, three of pentacles, six of pentacles, I always get stubborn energy. So it may not be with that of another person, but something is is not moving. <laughs> OK, for someone in this uh, upcoming week in the direction that you want. This is a card of collaboration. When it's in the upright, it's almost always positive. It's a card of recognition, reward, and merit. I'm just showing you in contrast in the upright, working uh, well with others to get the job done because you're on the same plane. Uh, when it's not, then that means that there could be some, you know, Difficulties that you embraced in the workplace environment where, you know, you're supposed to be uh, working with someone and then you're having a difficult time with this energy on the outside. It could be that, you know, it could be a project that you're working on. This could be in, uh, including family members, friends, and then they're just there's something going on with the energy. So this is the stubbornness. OK, they're not willing to work with you. Uh, so, of course, it's reward recognition. Uh, congratulations, a, you know, a pat on the back for a job well done when it's in the upright. But when it's in the reverse, it ain't coming. All right. So some some of you may be uh, enduring uh, something that's not moving fast enough for you or someone is not willing to work with you on blank. Any given project and, you know, fill in the blank or whatever you want to do. So that's your energy, uh, Capricorn and that of uh, Taurus and Virgo, male or female. So next up, after the three of Pentacles in the reverse, we have the, okay, double ace. So this is double good energy. This happens to be the ace of cups. So, of course, there is that new relationship, okay, Based on the promises of the death card, if it is that Capricorn uh, is dealing with a situation and they're hanging on to a relationship they know they should get rid of uh, because it's not serving their uh, highest good or their purpose, then this will come in because it follows the death card that that is what the presentation could be the start of something new. This is the renewal of energies for those who aren't dealing with any, um, you know, energies of kicking someone to the curb, then, you know, you're still together. But then this also gives you an opportunity for a fresh start, new beginning. All right. To turn things around with the will of fortune. And remember, I said the will of fortune is the card of opportunity where if there is something that was not going in your favor, then this is the card of opportunity of turning that around. This also, too, is the fresh start, new beginnings, the birth of a child, the new job that may start. Definitely uh, connecting with the Ace of Pentacles as your overall energy. So Ace of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. And this is pretty this is turning out to be pretty good for you guys. OK, really good. Remember, the shadow card energy is the queen of cups. So there's relationship energies, exchanges, emotional support, love, reciprocity. Um, somebody needs to clean out the attic. Someone needs to clean out the garage. Get rid of that shit that you don't need. <coughs> Give it to somebody who could use it. Final card for you in this spread here, Capricorn, is the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is something positively moving forward. Some positive in a something. In, yeah, something positive moving for you forward and possibly too in a connection with the will of fortune in the direction that you want things you know based on the slow movement of the three of pentacles it follows the three of pentacles so maybe there was some 
stagnation or stubborn type of energies that you were dealing with. And now the three of wands shows up here. This is usually my green light card. Uh, if there is traveling, I always say, you know, long distance, short distance, say passage to say passage um, from. So but there is something that is going to move forward in a positive direction and it's favored for you. Three of wands represent the fire energies, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius male or female so yeah capricorn you have some interesting energy here i like that and i like the varied uh energies to show up so it gives me a lot of uh things to talk about you know and possibilities that could come up for you but overall i feel that the uh, reading and the energies are very very positive exchanges with a lot of people or a few people this upcoming week it could be new uh business partnerships or um business investments um, some of you spending times with your elderly, someone could be working in, uh, elderly home or a retirement community. Hmm. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Uh, please be safe. Whatever you do this upcoming week, always emphasizing that safety, uh, wishing you all love and light until I talk to you again. Be well. Bye.